There was a huge coaching shakeup for the Florida Gators this week, and it provides Billy Napier a massive opportunity to upgrade his staff and sell this to recruits as a huge recruiting win for the program. Hey guys, this is Allie Peak. This is a brand new channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's our first video. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And then in the comments, give us a big go Gators. So this week, UF lost three on the field coaches. First and foremost, defensive coordinator Patrick Tony. He left to go to the Arizona Cardinals. Um, he took a job as a defensive assistant. Following him is tight ends coach William Piegler. He is also headed to Arizona. Um, and then today, wide receivers coach Kerry Colbert also left for the NFL. He is headed to the Denver Broncos, a place where he actually played um, when he was a wide receiver in the NFL. So three big losses there. Defensive coordinator position has already been hired, though. And honestly, Gator fans, it is an upgrade. Austin Armstrong is going to be the next defensive coordinator. He was hired from Alabama. He's only been their linebackers coach for a month, but his resume is impressive. He was a GA under Kirby Smart and Dan Lanning at Georgia. He was an assistant on Napier's Louisiana staff, so very familiar with uh, Coach Napier. Napier is very familiar with him. He then was the defensive coordinator at Southern Miss, where he was the youngest defensive coordinator in college football. And Nick Saban played Southern Miss in 2021, was super impressed with what he saw, hired Austin as um, an, a linebackers coach for Alabama. Alabama fans are not pumped that Florida poached him. This is, this is a win, Gator fans. This is an upgrade. I think that there's a lot of people that thought Patrick Tony maybe should have performed a little bit better this past season. I think they were looking for Napier to potentially have made some sort of change during the offseason. It didn't happen. But with the quickness for which Armstrong was hired made me think that Tony gave Napier a heads up that he was interviewing for this. Maybe potentially it was a mutual decision to part ways. I don't know. Um, but Austin Armstrong is definitely an upgrade for Florida at this position, at least in my opinion. He runs a four down front. Supposedly the language um, and playbook are very similar. So it should be something that UF uh, players are going to easily adapt to. And that's going to be important because Florida is replacing almost their entire defense. And the quickness at which they pick up Armstrong's scheme is kind of going to determine how Florida does this season. Uh, tight ends coach William Piegler, uh, you know, he was supposedly a good recruiter. I don't know that I was overly impressed with tight ends this year. We don't know who uh, Napier is going to be hiring at this position just yet. But I do think there is a really unique opportunity here. If I am Napier, I am looking for somebody who is also a special teams guru. Um, for Gator fans that have been around for, you know, multiple uh coaching staffs. They're not new to this game. Florida has been known for special teams for the past two decades, probably. So the the drop that we saw last year is not indicative of what Florida likes to put on the field. I think uh, this was an area that really this offseason needed to be a focus for Napier. So if I'm him, when I'm hiring my tight ends coach, that's something I'm looking at as a coach that also has special teams experience. Um, in my opinion, Kerry Colbert is the biggest loss of these three. I don't know that there's really a way to sugarcoat this. He is an excellent wide receivers coach, and he is an incredible recruiter. I think that a lot of the guys that Florida has in this past class are there because of Colbert. I think some of the guys we have committed in the 2024 class are also there because of him. He obviously did a great job with wide receivers at USC as well. So this hurts, right? This this is a loss. This is an opportunity, though, for Billy Napier to go out and get somebody that is an equally good recruiter. And obviously we need somebody that's at least an equally good coach. So I'm interested to see who Napier brings in. Um, I feel like he tends to pull from the Saban coaching tree. So uh, we will see who he gets there. But you know, this is a recruiting win for Florida. The fact that a a team that went six and six did lose three coaches to the NFL means that they like what Napier is doing. They are impressed with the staff that he put together, right? They think that these guys have NFL pedigree. That is important on the recruiting trail because you are selling these players on an opportunity to play at the next level. You're telling them that your coaching staff has the chops to get them there. And I think that this is exactly what Napier will point to. He'll say, look, we'd only been here one year and three of our guys got plucked by NFL programs. So, 
we know what we're doing. We'll be, I'll be interested to see, um, you know, how that plays on the trail. A large part of whether or not this is a successful recruiting tactic will also depend on who he's able to hire and fill those roles. Because obviously if you fill them with downgrades, then it's a hard sell that like, well, your coach isn't as good, but the replacement went to the NFL. So we're, you know, that's not, it's, you're going to need to upgrade uh, or at the very least, keep maintain the same level of coaching to be able to sell this but i do think it's an opportunity to pitch to recruits that it is a win for the program next season is going to be rough for florida there's there is a lot of change a lot of transition going on i think that florida schedule sets up well for young guys testing the waters i mean maybe utah aside but our easier games are in the beginning of the season so when you're breaking in a new defensive scheme when you're breaking in a new wide red receivers coach tight ends and lots of start new starters all over the field the way that the schedule is set up is ideal because you can get some of those cupcake games out of the way you can get the nerves out you can get the experience in before you have games against georgia lsu florida state and some of the bigger names that come down the pipeline this is going to be an interesting season for Billy Napier, though. There is a lot of roster turnover. This is no longer Dan Mullen's team. This is Billy Napier's team. So at this point, he's going to live and die by the guys that he has brought in, the coaching staff that he has. I'm kind of excited, though, to see how this plays out. I'm really, really excited about Austin Armstrong. I think that he is a improvement over Patrick Tony. There were some things in the defense last year that concerned me, mainly because I felt like it kind of um, regressed instead of, of progressed. So this is a win. This is a gimme, right? This is a do-over for Billy Napier. So we will see if this hire makes the difference, um, if these new guys that he got from the transfer portal makes a difference, and we'll see how fast Armstrong can install this scheme, and uh, we'll see how he does this season. We're going to have lots more videos coming your way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and check out our next video.